Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. If you'd like to join the Dream Team, just scroll down just a little bit and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified on any future videos. So if you guys been following along, I've been investing $200 into my Robinhood account every single week for about the last year or so, well, a little less than a year. And today, we're gonna find out exactly how much did I get paid in dividends for the month of June. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. I have my Robinhood account pulled up. Let's take a look at the charts. Right now my account is at $18,192.22. On the day, I am up $162.23, almost a full percent at 0.90%. So we take a look at the month of June, I am up 2.87%, up $507.75. So June wasn't a bad month for me. It's actually pretty good. Being up 2.87% in one month alone is pretty good returns to me. But what this video is all about is how much did I make in dividends from the month of June? I got paid out by 15 different companies. So let's go through each of the companies that paid me out to see how much I got paid in the month of June. So if you guys want to figure out how do you get to your dividend um, part in your Robinhood account portfolio, all you have to do is click on your settings, hit statements and history, click on show more, and then just scroll at the top where it says dividends. You guys just click on dividends. And there you go. We're going to scroll down to June 1st. All right. So June 1st, the very first dividend I got paid out was Intel Tickle Symbol INTC. I owned a total number of one share and got paid out 33 cents per share for a total of 33 cents. Uh, if we take a look at Intel, I own one share. The market value is at $59.38. I am up currently 22% on Intel. So that brings my total amount to $0.33. Cents. The next one I have is WMT Walmart. I own a total number of shares of seven from Walmart, which paid out $0.54 cents per share for a total amount of $3.78. Let's take a look at Walmart. My average price of Walmart is $123.22. So I'm actually down $31.44 from Walmart, down 3.44%. But they paid me a pretty good dividend and I do believe Walmart is gonna recover. The last year charts from Walmart, they're up 6.86%. And I do believe that they will continue to climb during the quarantine. So that brings our total amount to $4.11. The next one is WTRG Water. I own five shares of this company, paying me out 23 cents per share for a total amount of $1.17. So if we take a look at this company, they just had a recent tickle symbol change, so Robinhood doesn't calculate it correctly. So it's gonna show it as all profit. But if we look at the last year, there's they are up 1%. And over the last five years, they have a, a steady incline being up 69% over the last five years. So I'm pretty sure I'm up on this company considering that I bought it over a year ago. So this is WTRG, uh, Essentials Utilities, and I'm satisfied with the dividend payment. So that's gonna bring my total dividend payment so far to $5.28. The next one is AGNC, the very the most controversial one in my portfolio. You guys give me a lot of a hate on it, but this is my risky, this is my most risky stock in my portfolio. This is the one I'm gambling on. Uh, the total number of shares that I had at the time was 85 shares, paying out 12 cents per share. This one do pay out monthly, uh, paying me $10.20 in the month of June. If we take a look at AGNC, I am down $122.57. So, and actually two more months of getting paid dividends from AGNC, I will actually be up in dividends if I keep earning $10 or more in dividends from AGNC. But as you guys know, uh, this is the most risky stock in my portfolio, and it's also 6.25% of my portfolio diversity. So let's pull up trackyourdividends.com so I can show you guys my dividend score on agency compared to the dividend scores of other more trustworthy companies. 
All right, guys, here we are on trackyourdividends.com. If I click on stock analysis right here and type in AGNC and hit the search tool, this is gonna bring up the top five um, real estate REITs compared to AGNC. In the uh, real estate market, the best one is STAG, S-T-A-G. I do have ticker symbol O realty income in my portfolio, but let's take a look at AGNC. It's very low compared to the dividend safety score of just having one. So AGNC has a low safety score of one. That's why uh, a lot of people give me a slack for owning AGNC because their dividend safety score is one. They do cut their dividends every now and then. It's such a risky stock to have in your portfolio. And I know that, but it's a gamble for me. So let's take a look at another company, O, that is also on my portfolio and compare it to that. So this is ticker symbol O. If we look, take a look at their dividend safety score, they're in the green with a 64 dividend safety score. So this one is a lot safer than ticker symbol AGNC. So that's the difference in between these two real estate REITs is one of them has a horrible dividend score but pays a high dividend and one of them has a better dividend score but pays a little lower dividend compared to let's say let's not let's pick a let's pick Pepsi something that is not a REIT and see what kind of dividend safety score that they have. Okay? And their dividend safety score is 94, okay? If you guys wanna try out this tool, this is trackyourdividends.com. The link will be down in the description. Um, just click that link, sign up, it's completely free. But I think if you wanna use the stock popularity and the stock analysis tool, it's pretty helpful. I think that you could sign up for a monthly subscription using trackyourdividends.com. But I will leave that link down in the description. Okay, so we're back. So with AGNC, that brings our total to $15.48 in total so far. All right, the next one is XOM, Exxon Mobil. I have one share of Exxon Mobil paying me out 87 cents per share uh, for a total amount of 87 cents. If we take a look at Exxon Mobil, I am down $21.60 in Exxon Mobil. I thought I had bought the dip when all your prices have went negative, but I just got in when I could. It was still very, very low. I thought I had got the dip, but I got in around right here and it's back down just a little bit. So I'm gonna let continue to hold on to Exxon Mobil, let it recover. I see them recovering in the future with their oil and gas technology. So I'm just gonna hold on to Exxon Mobil at the time. And that's gonna bring our total to $16.35. The next one is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. Um, a lot of people were wondering, do you get paid for owning a percentage of a stock uh, by buying in dollars and not buying in shares? So I don't own a full share of Microsoft. I own 0.355% of a full share of Microsoft and I still got paid out. They paid out 51 cents per share. So they paid me out 18 cents um, in dividends for the month of June bringing my total to $16.53. The next one is 3M, MMM. Uh, I love this company. I own 2.02 .02 shares worth of 3M, paying out $1.47 per share for a total of $2.97 in the month of June in dividends. If we take a look at 3M, I am down 11%, almost $40.75. So over the last year, 3M is down 12.03%. Uh, hopefully I got in at the bottom and 3M recovers very, very soon. So that's gonna bring my total to $19.70. The next one is Tickle Symbol O, Realty Income. Uh, we just discussed this on my Track Your Dividends tracker. I have six shares of Realty Income paying out 23 cents per share for a total amount of $1.40. The real estate market has took a crash, so I'm down $34.42 in realty income. And that's gonna bring my total to $20.90. The next one I have is PSEC. I got paid out six cents. I own one share of Prospect Capital, um, paying me out six cents per share, and I got paid out six cents of dividends in the month of June. If we take a look at PSEC, I own three shares now, and I am up 39 percent up four dollars and 37 cents in psec bringing my grand total to twenty dollars and 96 cents 
The next one is WM Waste Management. I own 1.22 shares of Waste Management, paying out 54 cents per share. So I got paid out a total of 67 cents in the month of June in dividends. If we take a look at waste management over the last five years, they had a steady growth, um, but they took the major hit when the bad news, the quarantine news had came out. And I am down 1.36%, but I've been getting paid consistent dividend payments from WM. So I'm actually up on WM to this day on total returns paying me out 67 cents in the month of june bringing my grand total to 21 dollars and 63 cents the next one is spyd it's an etf in the sp 500 uh, i have 14 shares this one paid me out 36 cents per share for a total amount of five dollars and 12 cents this one follows the s p 500 so i'm down 25.92 percent 135 dollars and 44 cents so I got paid out a total of $5.12 for the month of June from this company, bringing my total to $26.75. The next one I own is NVDA, NVIDIA. This is also another company that I don't own a full share of. I own 0.1683% of a full share. This one pays out 16 cents per share. So I got paid out three cents for the month of June, bringing my total to $26.78. And I have two pending that should be paid out today. PEP, Pepsi, I also showed that one on trackyourdividends.com. I own one share, paying out $1.02 from Pepsi. Bringing my total to $27.80. And the last one, which is a monthly paying dividend stock, SPHD. I need to invest a lot more into SPHD right now on 29 shares, paying me out 15 cents per share for a total of $4.43 cents for the month of june if we take a look at sphd i am down 19.8 percent also this company followed the s p 500 so when that is down this is down but uh 32 dollars and 66 cents is a good price to get in at over the last year um the high was around 43 dollars and now it's at 32 dollars so i might pick up some more Hopefully it will recover over the next couple of months or by this time next year. And I will have gotten in at SPHD at a great steal of a price. Bringing the grand total of my dividends for the month of June to $32.23. And there it goes, guys. Uh, I made $32.23 in dividends for the month of June. I've come a long way just by investing $200 every single week into my Robinhood account and buying uh different stocks here and there sometimes i buy growth stocks and sometimes i buy dividend stocks but uh, i remember when i first started off i think my very first dividend month i made three cents and now i'm at 32 dollars and 23 cents so consistent growth just investing a little bit what you can every single week or what you can every single month into the stock market you will see your um, portfolio start to grow and your dividend payouts will start to increase 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 more till eventually you start making enough dividends to reinvest back into those stocks to buy full shares. If you like what you've seen, scroll down and hit that subscribe button and join the Dream Green team. I got a lot more content coming out and you guys do not want to miss, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Also hit that thumbs up button, it really helps out this video a lot. If you would like to support this channel, hitting that thumbs up button is the best way to do it at the moment. I will also leave the link down to Robinhood down in the description. If you sign up, you'll get a free share and I'll get a free share if you fund your account and you can win stocks all the way valued up to, let's say, Apple to where Apple is around $350 this month. So that is an easy way to get your portfolio started. Also, if you like trackyourdividends.com, go check out that video I made on that. The link is down in the description and you can sign up for that and it's completely free. If you want the paid version like how I use it, uh, I think it's only $4.99 a month. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.